This is Star Talk. If we're going to go to Mars, uh, do you do you see engineering challenges to that, or is oh, it just no, piece or is of it cake. only no no wait 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 no I'm, I'm going to this is a very serious question. Yeah. Engineers love a challenge, so don't tell me don't don't play that with me. A B. Oh, bring it on! Don't don't, <laughs> I don't say bring don't, it on. Don't even. <laughs> So my question is, is it just a matter of money? Or or even if I gave you as much money as you want, you might not be able to solve some of the engineering problems. Oh, we can solve the problem. Snap. That's no, we can solve that's what I figured. Yeah, because we land a rover from a freaking rocket crane. Right. We can solve the problems. Right. But as far as this colony idea, everybody. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, there's no liquid water as such. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, Mars was once very wet and we found evidence of ice. All good. But it's not like... There's a river there. Right. Okay. Then, you if know, there is, uh, it's underground and no one has found it yet. Okay. Mm-hmm. And let me go on to say it's on its summer day at the equator, it's 20 below. Okay. Yeah. You can get, what is it everybody wearing this year? Uh, Canada Arctic Crew. That was a goose down, Canada okay. goose down brand jacket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All very good. That's dead. That's. When things are really good, that's all you got. That's, on. Mi- that's midsummer, midsummer yeah, attire. But the right? main thing I think you would pick up on right away: there's no air. You would suffocate well, in a second. Well, there's air, but there's no oxygen in the air. Well, so uh, you you just have to make all that stuff well, once so you get there. there. Is Thank uh, you, Chuck. But, but Neil, at least I, somebody's I, thinking about the future I gotta here. I stop you there, Bill. There quiet for a minute. There is oxygen Chuck. in the air, <laughs> <laughs> but it's carbon dioxide. You no, have to it, separate it from yeah, the carbon. Carbon. Carbon dioxide, CO2, is one of the most tightly bound molecules ever made. I mean, you can do yeah. it, but you got to put in the energy. You got to put in the energy. And then it's you're going to be living, everybody, you're going to be living in a submarine. Well, but, but just to be clear, so you have to get that energy from somewhere. Right. Right. So just, just, there's no such thing as a free lunch. And you're one and a half times the distance that we are from the sun. So your uh, solar energy, if you just want to run, if you wanted to run solar panels, uh, was fifteen squared, so it's a two, w- yeah, one and a quarter, two, two and a quarter times more, yeah, less, less, less. less. Yeah. sunlight. No, okay. you need two and a quarter times more solar panels yeah, to equal quarter, the. Yeah. Right. In You're light of this conversation, why do we want to go there? <laughs> what? Did someone remind well, because us? What? I'll tell you why I <laughs> want to go. There. Well, it is the next logical place to look for. I like things. Chuck getting high pitch on us. <laughs> Give me so that Chuck, again, Chuck. Chuck, why? <laughs> Chuck, the reason you want to go there. Is because you're going to explore. And when you explore, two things happen. Those two things, Doc, Chuck, One. you will make, you will make discoveries. Okay. You'll you will find something. something you never found before. All right. But the other thing is you will have an adventure. You will have an adventure. It will engage you like nothing else, whether it's your backyard, the video game, or the surface of Mars. Now, you if, might die, but it'll be an adventure. Well, but what we want to do as an engineer, uh, and this is what astronauts say, part of their pride as being astronauts is coming back. That's like landing the airplane is part of a pilot's pride. I mean, ejecting and letting the $350 million fighter plane explode is kind of cool on video, yeah. but it's not really your goal as a pilot or an astronaut. So if we were to go there with a human, we would be able to make discoveries at an extraordinary rate. It's estimated 10,000 times faster than our best robot spacecraft. Right now. But if the day comes when we have a 10,000 times better robot, you'd still probably want to explore. Still want to send a human Okay, there. so then... That's and so a- here's the thing. If we found evidence of life, fossilized bacterial mats, mm-hmm. or cooler yet, something still alive, some Mars probe, then the question would be, and I want to know, do those Mars probes have DNA like you and I do, or are they a whole nother, nother of notherness? Mars probe? Is that That's a Mars Martian crobe. microbe. I don't it's a know. Martian microbe. Mars probe. And then if they have DNA and they're so much like us, does that mean Mars was hit by an impactor, whoo, 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 went off into space, and you and I are descendant of Martians? That we'd all do, be Martians. Do, 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 do. This is Star Talk.